Hi friends, welcome back. Or should I even say friends? Should I say like peers, acquaintances, random people I've seen on the street? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure you guys have written me off as a friend a really long time ago. <laughs> so obviously it's been a while. <laughs> I think it's been like maybe seven months or something since I filmed the video. So um, we have a lot to catch up on. So that's really what I'm gonna do today. I'm just gonna do a get ready with me and basically catch you guys up on everything that has happened in my life because it's been a really hot minute since I've been here. <laughs> I mean, I've been here. I just haven't been, you know, here. I'm actually getting ready for Alana's photo shoot. She has her two year, I don't even wanna say that. She has her two year birthday photo shoot, I guess. Her birthday's in two weeks. Um, so I'm just gonna do something really, really simple because obviously I don't want my makeup to be the focus of Alana's pictures. Um, but I do want to not look like this. As always, everything that I use is going to be linked down below because I'm not really going to be talking about it much because I'm going to be talking about my life, obviously. So, um, I don't even know where to start. Maybe I should start with like the elephant in the room. Um, <laughs> this is not mine. <laughs> so basically you guys know I cut my hair, uh, pretty much a year ago. It's like almost exactly a year ago. And I had a pixie cut and I loved it. And I went shorter and shorter and shorter for a very long time. I just kept going shorter until I was like basically bald. <laughs> and I loved it. It was so easy, which is exactly what I wanted. And I just didn't have to deal with it ever. And it was like amazing. Um, but then I decided to start growing it out. And I don't know how many of you have grown out a pixie cut, but it sucks. It honestly looks psychotic and I feel like I can't I I cannot leave the house with the way that my hair looks because it's just it's just at the weirdest like awkwardest stage ever especially because it's curly I think it just is not living because of that I decided that I was gonna try some things to cover it up I did try getting a box braids um, which I'll insert a picture here I had them for a week and I hated them and took them out immediately <laughs> um, actually I have some really funny stories about that basically because my hair was so short when I got it I mean the top was pretty long but I just kept cutting the bottom so the bottom was really really short the braids just kept falling out and <laughs> it was stupid embarrassing one time I was at work and a friend of mine we were just leaving a meeting and a friend of mine was walking behind me and she was like hey Katie I think you uh you might have left this in the conference room and I'm like what and it was a braid in the conference room at work on the floor. I was so embarrassed. I honestly think that's why I didn't really like them was because of the fact that my hair was so short they were just falling out. Like every morning I would wake up and there would be like one or two braids just on my pillow. So because of that I got rid of them and I probably won't get them again at least for a while until my hair on the bottom is a little bit longer. But then I was still feeling really really insecure. That was like one of the main reasons that I wasn't filming besides the fact that I have no time. I just felt super, super insecure about my hair. I just thought it looked psychotic. Even when I straightened it, which I did straighten it one time in the last like year plus months. So don't, don't fight me one time. And it still, I just looked like Karen. Like I looked like I was trying to talk to your manager. Again, I will try to insert pictures here. So what I decided to do was I decided to get a wig and that's what I did. And that's what this is. This is a wig. And I am probably never gonna make a video about how I put it on only because I don't know what I'm doing at all whatsoever, even in the slightest. So <laughs> I honestly play it day by day. And like, if it doesn't fly off before I leave the house, I'm like, that looks good enough, whatever, we're fine. What else has happened? Oh, what else has happened? I forget, cause I announced this on Instagram, but I obviously didn't announce it here, but I am pregnant again. <laughs> so awkward. So I'm pregnant, I'm currently 17 weeks, and it is a boy, and I am over the moon excited. I can't even explain it to you, honestly. I, I don't even, I don't even have words. This time I didn't like want anything specific, like when I was pregnant with Alana, I was like, no, I'm gonna have a girl. That's what's gonna happen, and if it's not a girl, we're fighting. But this time I was kind of just like, it's a win-win, like either I have one of each or Alana has a sister and it ended up being a boy and I am so excited. I will leave a picture from my gender reveal here. It 
the gender reveal was very interesting <laughs> because we did those little confetti poppers and um, mine was on a super delay and a lot of people couldn't get theirs to work. So basically it ended up looking crazy at the end. Like I, mine didn't go off until the end. I do have a name currently picked out for my son to be. I'm due February 28th, by the way. That's my, that's my due date. Also my sister-in-law is pregnant. She's due the 50, 12, 50, what are those two days? The 15th or the 12th? Watch well, it be like the 14th and I'm gonna be so mad. But I just honestly could not be, she's also having a boy by the way. Could not be more excited for the new baby. I just keep looking at like Alana's old pictures and you know when she was like a baby baby. I mean she's not even a baby, she's a toddler. Um, and I'm just like, I just can't wait. I cannot wait. I, I think she's gonna be such a good big sister because not because she's nice to people because she's not she's actually super aggressive but she's really nice to her toys she'll like rock them and like give them a kiss put them to sleep tuck them in and i'm like that's interesting because you just kicked me in the face yesterday but sure okay oh by the way my memory card broke legitimately right before i sat down to film this so i'm using like a backup memory card and it has damn near no space <laughs> It just has no memory in general, not because it's full. Um, so I'll probably have to change my memory card like five times. No, let me stop. Let me do my eyebrows and then we will return. So I just finished up my brows off camera and I primed my eyes. I'm not trying to say that my eyebrows look good right now because they don't. But I'm not concerned about it. It'd be like that sometimes. So I do want to say, since I was talking about the baby meme earlier, I feel like I see a lot of the times like people don't reveal their baby's name and then they're like oh you think you're such a celebrity like that's not for me I mean I don't know about my my eyeshadow primer is creasing let me just get that together real quick for me that is not the reason I don't share the name um like Alana's name I didn't share before she was born and this baby's name I will also not be sharing before he is born because I'm not going to say all Dominicans because I am Dominican, but I'm not going to say all Dominicans, obviously, because that's such a generalization. But um, most of the Dominicans that I have met, that's what I'll say, um, feel like it's a superstitious kind of a thing. Like if you share the name, then that's like bringing bad luck to the baby, the health of the baby, whatever. So that's for me personally why I don't share it. Also, that's why... Before Alana was born, her room was not even set up, like, at all. Like, her nursery was not ready, again, because we feel like it's bad luck. And I know that sounds like, come on. But it's just, it's just a thing, okay? I, I didn't make it up. <laughs> oh, I'm just using this little Viseart palette that I recently got, by the way, from Sephora, uh, the Warm Edit. It is, like, the most perfect little palette. Look at that. I love it. I mean, I love Viseart in general, so you know I love it. <laughs> Um, but the color that I'm using right now is just this little peachy one right here. By the way, I have no nail polish on. I don't want to talk about it right now. I do want to move, by the way, not, not move where I live, but like move this setup to over there in my room, over there. Not that you can see where over there is, but over there. <laughs> I am like stuck in a corner over here and I hate it so much. Also another reason I like it never was here. I'm using this shade from the palette now. The one that has all the kick up in it. <laughs> um, because I feel like this is not a cute space. Like this isn't cute. Nobody wants to see this in the background. Like nobody wants to see my bed over here. Nobody wants to see that. So I'm planning on, planning on moving over there and like doing something cute with it. But you know, who, who knows? We'll see. That is the plan. I feel like one of the reasons I wanted to come back, like specifically now, is because this brush, by the way, is a Morphe R39. And the one that I used before is a ColourPop. Doesn't say anything on it, but it's from ColourPop. One of the reasons I feel like I wanted to come back now, like I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by my damn self, is because this year has been, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Garbage. No, that was dramatic. Obviously this year was not garbage, but it has been really rough for me and my family um, for just like, you know, personal reasons, like nothing to do with anything that I'm gonna share. But I just feel like 
to regain my sanity, this is basically what has to be done. So this is something that like kind of gets my mind off of things and makes me happy. This is like the only hobby that I have really. And I kind of obviously fell off it for a really long time. And I think that kind of contributed to like happiness levels, I'll say. I feel like everybody needs to have something that they enjoy in their lives besides being a mother or like just work. I've been really getting on top of the makeup releases like kind of too much. Like I'm kind of I'm kind of angry at myself how much I've been on top of the makeup releases and I have so many videos that I like in my head want to film. So like I recently picked up a bunch of things from Victoria Beckham's makeup line because she recently came out with that. I picked up things from House Labs. I want to do a video like on each of those brands just like as a first impression. I haven't used any of them yet. I've been holding off just so that I can do that. Maybe I can film one of those tomorrow. Um, but like I'm just, I'm excited to like get back into it, you know, and I have no time. Like I have no time. It's like disgusting, the lack of time that I have. I'm taking this shade with a MAC 242 brush and I'm just throwing her on the lid. I have l an actual list of videos that I am like prepared to do. Um, oh, I want to do something with the Celestial Storm palette by Dominique Cosmetics. I did pick that up. Haven't played with that yet. Um, the Artist Couture Midnight Maven, is that what it's called? Palette? That palette, like, it just spoke to me. Ooh, oh my god, the Mama Mitchell palette with Beauty Bay. First of all, it took eons to get here because obviously they ship from UK. Is it UK? I'm feeling like it's UK. Um, so it took a really, really long time to get here, but it is here and I still haven't played with it because I want to play with it on camera. So I definitely want to do something with that. Man, I really hate the scent of this Huda Beauty powder. You guys know, like, ugh, I don't like it. Like it's supposed to smell good, I think, but like it doesn't. By the way, if you're curious as to whether or not I decorated my entire apartment for fall, the answer is yes, <laughs> on September 2nd, actually. I love fall and um, nobody is gonna, nobody's gonna make me feel bad about that, okay? So I'm gonna take the, am I gonna take the darkest brown? Do I wanna do that? Is that what I'm feeling right now? I could not wait for fall and I could not wait for Halloween. Not because of, you know, I wanna do Halloween makeup or anything. I don't really care about that, to be honest with you. I'm not really a Halloween makeup kind of a person. I mean, I have done it, but it's not like why I wake up in the morning, you know? Like, I'd rather do this. I can't wait for Halloween because I can't wait to dress up my entire family. <laughs> this year, I'm not gonna say what we're gonna be. It's probably not that big of a deal. Like, it probably isn't that, like, cool. But, like, I thought it was appropriate and cool for, like, what's coming out around Halloween this year. And I'm excited to have Cheddar a part of... Oh, my God. Do you guys even know about Cheddar? You guys might not even know about fucking Cheddar. So I'm excited to have Cheddar as a part of our Halloween this year. And since I'm pretty sure nobody even knows, Cheddar is my dog, <laughs> my other dog. You guys know about Milkshake already. You guys have seen Milkshake a lot of times, but we recently in February, I wanna say, right around the time I stopped coming on YouTube, which that's, is that a coincidence? I don't know. <laughs> um, we got another dog and his name is Cheddar. There he is, Cheddar, come here. I was just talking about you. Come Cheddar. At the perfect time. So here's a milkshake. You guys have seen milkshake several times. Give me a second Cheddar, I'll be right with you, sir. You guys have seen milkshake a bunch of times. She is like the love of my life. I love her. She's the best puppy in the world. Like everybody who meets her is just like, she is so perfect. And I'm like, yeah, you're damn right. Her name is Milkshake. And I do have an Instagram for my dogs. Do I? update it that much no but <laughs> but it's there um it's at the danger dogs i'll leave it here um and this my bad i just hit his head this is cheddar he is milkshake's brother except they have a different dad so they have the same mom stop he is how old are you nine months old and he still can't get his putty right it's awful i mean he can get his pee pee right it's just <laughs> But yeah, we got him in February and I I named him Cheddar after the dog in Brooklyn Nine-Nine, which if you guys don't know, that is my favorite show in the entire world. 
Oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. He just is a pain in the ass. I'm taking this um, orange color that I didn't use the entire video, but for some reason I'm using it now. And I'm just gonna blend that out on my lower lash line. So there have been so many foundation launches recently and I picked up pretty much every single one of them. And I have not used some of them. The Rihanna foundation I obviously used and I love, but I didn't use the Urban Decay Naked Stay Naked foundation, which I'm hearing such amazing things about. Obviously I'm sure you guys are hearing the exact same things. Um, and I haven't used the Pat McGrath foundation yet. I'm kind of nervous about that one because I'm seeing that it's like sheer coverage and not that I don't like a sheer coverage every now like it's not like I'm like I can only use full coverage like that's not that's not me at all but sheer coverage for so much money is kind of making me nervous but I've been trying a lot of makeup recently like a lot even though I haven't been doing it on camera obviously and there are some, I have opinions about things. Also, I switched my entire skincare routine. Let's talk about that too, I guess. I had like a good, I don't know, a good chunk of time. <laughs> I don't know how long it was. Where my skin just didn't, that's a highlighter, that's not what I'm looking for. Where my skin just didn't look good at all. Like there were bumps everywhere and I usually don't get a lot of breakouts. So I really felt like I just needed to switch something in my, in my, in my skincare routine, you know? So I do want to do a video that's on my list, um, showing my updated skincare routine now that it is completely different. I mean, I do the same steps. It's not like I do like something so freaking miraculous or anything, but I just use different products and I think it's made a big difference my skin looks really good I think compared to what it looked like when I started to switch it up I really wish I was doing something more fun like the Norvina palette that's another palette that I haven't used I recently by the way randomly AF but <laughs> I cleaned out my makeup collection and I I don't want to say I'm disgusted with myself, but I'm pretty disgusted. I, if you look at the boxes, and I'm not done by the way, I'm not done, but if you look at the boxes of stuff that I am getting rid of, you would think I have nothing left. And I do want to do a video kind of showing what I decluttered, but I think I would only do it for like eyeshadow palettes because I don't think anything else is interesting. Let me know if you guys would want to see that. I think like seeing what highlights I got rid of is like, mm, does anybody give a crap about that? I don't know. I'm taking the Underclassmen Blush by ColourPop. This came out recently and like they're, I don't even know what collection that was. Having two dogs, which by the way, I almost had three dogs. <laughs> so, oh my God, when was this? Like three weeks ago or something? Maybe around three weeks ago. Um, Elver was driving and he, saw that there was a lost husky and um needless to say huskies are freaking gorgeous but obviously that you know that's besides the point <laughs> if we see like lost dogs like my family is like almost famous for bringing them back home like it's like what we do we like we'll never see a dog that looks lost and just like let it be lost like we would be late for work we would just like we would stop and we would find the dog his home or her home so there was a husky and Elver was like trying to corner it with another family and he ended up cornering it and goes to check the collar and there is no information on the collar, which like the collar had, I don't know if it even had tags on it, but there was no, like the dog's name wasn't there. The owner's information wasn't there. Like nothing was there. So, um, please put your dog's information on his collar, please. So we took him to a vet. It was a 24 hour vet because this was at night. Um, maybe like around 9.45 at night. And I'm like lugging Alana around cause he calls me and he's like, hey, there's a, there's a, a lost Husky. Cause he knows that I'm gonna drop everything to come help that Husky, you know, like we're, we're dog people here. So <laughs> um, 
I'm like lugging Alana with me at 9.45, trying to find the, the husky a home, his home, not a home. And we brought him to the vet to see if he was chipped and he was not. And so I know my landlord because she's my mom and she will murder me if I bring this dog home. I mean, like when I brought cheddar, when I brought milkshake, she was really mad. When I brought Cheddar, she was like furious. She was like, I don't want to see another dog in here. And Cheddar, I think, is enough work that I don't I don't think I would ever want a third dog. So we asked the vet if they, you know, had some, like some kind of information for us, you know, something that we could do. And basically, they just said that they were going to keep him there overnight. So they did exactly that. They kept him there overnight. Um, I still don't know what his name was. But we're naming him, well, we're not, we're naming him. <laughs> we named him for like the two days we knew him, Ninja. So his name was Ninja to us. Like if we want to talk about him, we're just like, oh yeah, Ninja. So he just, he was so cute. I want to post a picture of him. You know, I'm going to do it. I'm going to post a picture of him. Basically, I called the entire morning to make sure that he was either transferred or being transferred or okay or like whatever the case is i was like up his butt i wanted to know like what was going on because at the end of the day if his family wasn't gonna come get him not that i think that his family you know they probably had no idea where he was so um if they weren't gonna come get him i was gonna figure something out for him because I loved him. He was so well behaved, super adorable, and I I like actually fell in love with him. But obviously my goal was to have him in his home. Just so that's clear. I wasn't just trying to steal people's dogs. I would never do that. I called the next day and they were like, Oh, he's still here. They said he was still here, that he was fine. And then I called the day after that. I think this was like on a Thursday. So I called on the Friday, he was fine. I called on the Saturday and they said that his owners had just picked him up. I was obviously happy because that means he's home with his family. That's obviously what matters. And I was kind of sad because he was super cool and I would have, I would have definitely kept him. I would have fought with my landlord to keep him, no problem. But yeah, Cheddar, if you guys have, this is what I need. If you guys have some kind of advice, to make Cheddar stop pooping in my house, <laughs> he just will not poop outside. He will not. He will pee outside happily. He, I'm pretty sure, I don't, I can't tell you the last time he peed inside, like on a wee wee pad. Um, but pooping is just like, that's all he wants to do is poop inside and I don't understand it. I'm taking the Milk Cosmetics Highlight in Gold Ore, which looks like this. I don't use this that much, but once I started like, cleaning out my makeup I realized there are so many things that I don't use enough and I am sick of it I am just oh all right we're just gonna we're just gonna be gorgeous that's fine these lashes are not working with me today I'm angry I'm I am angry like why I have actually another one of my new recent favorites but I haven't used this color yet um, the Carly Bible and Il Maquillage, um, collaboration is gorgeous. I used the red color like four times last week. No, that's not true. Um, anytime that I'm wearing like white, I feel like I have to wear a red lip. I don't know what that is. I don't know who put that in my head. <laughs> Someone obviously did though, because that's what I've been doing. I use the red a bunch of times. It is... <sighs> I'm not the kind of person who likes red, just like regular lipsticks. I would prefer a red liquid lipstick. But the red in this collection is stunning. It is beautiful. And I love it with the lip liner as well. I, I love this collection. Like, I can't even tell you. So, I'm going to use this color, which I haven't used yet. Luna. This is honestly the reason that I bought the collection was because of this lipstick and this lip pencil. It looked so beautiful. So uh, obviously someone's fighting in my house. Same old, same old. See, this is like the exact color of lip pencil that I like. I've been obsessed with the pencils recently. I have so many new ones and they're like all this exact color <laughs> because this is like for me, I know I've seen a lot of people wear this and it comes off a little bit more like deep brown, but for me, this is like the perfect nude. 
So I'm gonna take the color uh, Libra, which is what's supposed to go along with it. And I do think I'm gonna use the gloss. I haven't used the glosses yet, but the lip liners and the lipsticks, I have used. And I love them. Cut it out. This is, this is freaking stunning. I'm gonna use the lip gloss in the shade Star Child. I mean, I think this is the one that goes with it. If not, no, no, I did my best. <laughs> okay, first of all. This is the look. It's not really a look. It's like, I used like five products. It's fine. So I, I'm really excited to be back. I don't know if you guys understand how excited. I've been trying to find the time just to sit down and do like a get ready with me video where I was updating you guys for a while. I really wanted to do one for my gender reveal, but that did not happen. Obviously, gender reveals like, I don't know why I thought that was gonna happen. And I'm so excited to be back. I'm so grateful for you guys for hopefully welcoming me with open arms. Obviously, I don't know what the comments are gonna be like yet, but um, I just, I love being here. And I feel like recently, I don't know. I felt like for a minute, YouTube was just taking a turn that I did not enjoy, but I feel like it's getting more about the makeup. Maybe it's because of the psychotic amount of releases that are coming out. Um, whatever the reason is, it's, it's heading down a place that I like. So I'm excited to be back and hopefully you guys are excited to have me back and I will see you guys in my next video, which will hopefully not be in five months. <laughs> Bye.